Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chess and I post videos every single week, every Sunday at 9am all to do with like home decor, home styling and a little bit of fashion, lifestyle vlogging and a little bit of buddies as well. So if you like those videos then I'd love if you could stick around and subscribe. So today is Thursday, it's half term, I'm filming in half term, I love that, I love having a week off and the weather is horrendous, it's so cold today, like we've had some nice blue skies over half term in like some quite sunny days that's like getting me excited for spring and summer but today it's like gloomy and miserable and I've just been for brunch with my friend which was lovely and then I've just come back in and got changed into my comfy, this is my new Azanola hoodie and I'm literally obsessed with it, it's like oversized, so comfy cosy and... Yeah, I just never want to take it off basically. On today's video, I feel like I've not done one of these types of videos in ages. I know I'm always showing like home decor items, but I feel like I've not done this type of video in ages. It's a small business home decor haul, like lots of things arrived at the same time. I did like a few different orders and stuff and things that have been sent. So I just thought that I would show you all the pieces. There's some really cute pieces for like spring and Easter time and then just some like classic pieces and then something I picked up yesterday in a shop. So I've just got an accumulation of things to show you today. Lots of gorgeous home Bits. So if you like watching home decor hauls then do stick around for the rest of the video. So I'll start with the little thing that I picked up yesterday. So I was actually in Birmingham yesterday, like Solly, Solly Hall or Solly Hool, I don't know how you pronounce it, but like outskirts of Birmingham, I think, um, because I was invited down by one of my friends on Instagram, Charlie, over at Charlie's, to come and work with this bridal shop. And it was absolutely stunning, the bridal shop, by the way. It was called Ava May Bridal in Solly Hool, Solly Hall. And yeah, it was a really fun day. Like it was my first time trying dresses on. I loved it. I felt like a princess in them all. And although I didn't find the one, I didn't find the one at the shop I definitely know what sort of style that I that I want to go for for my actual wedding day now which is insane and I'm just so excited so yeah good things to come in terms of like wedding dress shopping I can't wait to go and try more on but yeah basically on our lunch break I went to this little like like a little fancy goods shop you know when you sell like little knickknacks and stuff and I saw that they had a William Morris section I was like oh William Morris I can spot it a mile off and I've been wanting a new one of these for ages like a little tea bag holder you just pop it next to your kettle in the kitchen if you're too lazy to walk all the way to the other side of the kitchen to put your tea bags in the bin then you can get a tea bag holder and also I feel like they just will drip like your spoon will just drip if you walk over to the bin anyway like I feel like not many people have these but like my mum always had one growing up and I always have one do people have tea bag holders next to the kettle or is that just like a really lazy thing to have <laughs> but yeah anyway we have one next to our kettle and I just thought this one was super cute and matches the jug in my Amazon haul it's that I think it must be bachelor's button print like greys whites and like a little bit of browns which I just thought was dead cute and matches the kitchen really nicely as well and it was only like three pounds so bargain there i've got some really cute easter like spring decor from one of my favorite small businesses i go on about them all the time just so interiors their shop and their whole aesthetic is just stunning you need to check them out i'll leave everything linked down below as always but yeah i work with them every month and i just love working with them i've got a really good discount code for them as well it's a 15 percent off when it's florally 15 and you can say 15 percent off anything from their shop but how cute is that ceramic bunny as soon as like march hits so like depending on when easter falls in the year but as soon as like it's a month or so before easter i'm whacking those bunnies all around the house not my actual bunnies like bunny decor because i just think it's so cute but like i always mention in my videos i don't want to go ott like pastel eggs and like all like bright colors it needs to be neutral so i think this is just so cute like it's not huge it's little tiny little bunny and obviously like I love bunny decor even more now because of my little babies they're both back at home by the way guys and I'm just so happy that they're both back at home we had a little bunny date like a little bunny bonding session but we're still deciding to keep them separate until Blossom has been spayed just because it's better that way but they are going to have like little bunny like dates before like before they live together properly which is so cute and they honestly love each other like they were both giving each other kisses it's so cute anyway i'm going off on a bunny tangent but how cute is this even if you don't have bunnies like this is such a cute little easter decor piece like spring decor piece you can just pop this little guy anywhere like on a tray or on a windowsill or on a table coffee table style it with some other things as well because it's not too big and it's not too like statement it's just like a nice little hint of easter decor which I don't know about you guys, but that's what I personally like in my house when it comes to Easter time. Like I will, I, will, I might go a bit OTT and have stuff in every room, but the stuff that I do have is very minimal and like classic and neutral. So I think this is perfect for that. 
And then also from Just So Interiors, I adore these. So I've got loads of hanging eggs, but a lot of them are like plasticky, which I do love, like I love, I love all the eggs that I have. But these ones just look a little bit more luxurious because they're glazed ceramic and like this one is my favourite, let me show you. It's like very white company vibes because it's all speckled. Very pretty. These are going to look stunning, like hanging from branches. I love to like have, I've got these like faux branches that look really realistic. I think they're from Duck's Nest Interiors and I get them out all the time and create like a little Easter tree at Easter time. And I think these are going to look gorgeous hanging from that. So you've got the speckled one. I think they come as a set of three. I'm not sure though. And then this one, obviously I adore. It's got a little bunny on. And then the other one's got like little flowers on it. So yeah, really, really cute. Obviously gorgeous and neutral, love anything white. And I just think they're really cute and very like spring-like and Easter-like, but you're not going too OTT because they're nice and subtle. So yeah, there's always so many gorgeous pieces from Just Sewing Series. And like I mentioned before, if you do see anything that you like on their website, which I'm sure you will because it's stunning, you can use my code florally15 for 15% off everything. Okay, now I'm excited to show you these bits. I've not actually opened anything yet. Let me get the box to show you. Oh my gosh, I can't lift it up. Okay, I've lifted it up. Oh my goodness. Don't you just love it when a huge box like this gets delivered? So everything in here is from another gorgeous small business who I've worked with in the past. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath from lifting that box up. I am so unfit. I need to get to the gym before the wedding next year, especially now that I'm trying dresses on. I can't believe I'm out of breath from <laughs> lifting that box up. Let me just get my breath back. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying before, I literally couldn't breathe. Everything in here is from a gorgeous small business called Homely Barn Interiors, and I've worked with them loads in the past before. And a few weeks ago, I did some story shares for them, and they very kindly, like I would have done it to just help them out, but they very kindly gave me a voucher to spend on their website as a thank you, which is just so, so generous of them. So I did treat myself to some new bits, so I'm gonna unbox everything and show you guys as well. This is my toxic trait. Does anybody else do this? Like, they cannot be bothered to get up and get some scissors and they'll just tug and tug and tug at the box until it, like, rips apart just because I don't wanna get up and get scissors. Does anybody else do that? Just need to stop being so lazy and go into the drawer and get some scissors. So firstly is this gorgeous little hanging basket. I thought it was going to be bigger to be fair but I actually really like this size and I don't have one that's this size. The one I have is much bigger and I just wanted another one just to like sometimes switch up a little bit but I feel like this would look gorgeous on my new peg rail like the little mini one that I've got above the bin. I did have in mind to pop it on my like main shelf in the kitchen, you know, like to swap and change where the other one is and just have like a bit of a difference every now and again. Like we all do, we love to have a little faff, but I feel like this is actually a really perfect size for the other one that's in there, the, like the wooden coloured one that my dad made me. Well, my dad made me both of them, but like the most recent one, the little one. I feel like that would look really cute on there. I might go and pop it up after I've done the haul and show you guys. But how cute is that? And if you've got one of those ladders as well, like I've got a ladder that's actually from Homely Barn Interiors as well, but if you've got one of those ladders that have the little like knobs on that you can hang things on, this is perfect for those ladders because it just looks so cute and stylish and rustic. And this colour, Rattan, is perfect as well. It's like a grey brown colour because I don't really like when, when baskets are very orangey, like too warm I'm, I'm much more of like a cooler tone kind of girl when it comes to baskets but yeah really sweet it would look cute in a bathroom as well wouldn't it like little towels and stuff in if you've got like a ladder ladder like a hanging ladder in the bathroom very very cute and I think this was really affordable as well like I said before I'll leave everything linked down below for you to have a browse I also got some of these cute little like tea light holders but they're in the shape of a heart these, these would look really cute on the Valentine's Day table actually maybe next year I think how many did I get oh they are so cute I got three of them and you just pop a little tea light in and again very minimal that's how I like it these would look gorgeous on a table skate like dotted about the table really really pretty or just like on its own like styled with other things on like a coffee table they're very like versatile pieces aren't they when you've just got like white ceramic pieces you can just pop them anywhere but yeah very very sweet next up we've got something very rustic vibes and this would look gorgeous like indoor or outdoor and it's this gorgeous rustic pot you can pop like a faux plant in or like um what did I see someone do the other day and it was so pretty they just bought some like 
really cheap herbs from Tesco and they pop them in like some really nice rustic pots and it looks so gorgeous in a kitchen so I'm definitely going to steal that idea and yeah it just looks really cute and rustic on your windowsill or like by your cooker like people have them styled like by the cooker with chopping boards and all sorts of things it's very Neptune style but this is beautiful and I thought it was going to be much smaller than this but I'm actually really happy with the size and the colour is really pretty as well I think I actually ordered two of them so I'll either pop them in different rooms or give one to my mum because I'm sure she will love this because we do have very similar styles as everyone knows so yeah this is the other one this is more of like a grey colour rather than green I just think because it's so natural and rustic it just like depends on which one you get it's like random selection so yeah I'm sure mum will love if I give her one of those I think this next one is another rustic kind of vibe oh this is so gorgeous oh I love that that's perfect for a kitchen with some like little tiny flowers inside or again herbs or something like that or a faux plant. I really love that. I'll give you a close up. It's like white and like almost like terracotta like like rust colour. Distressed, really pretty. I love like any home decor pieces like this like mixed with non-rustic pieces as well like and it just creates such a gorgeous look. Definitely a kitchen home decor piece for like a shell for a windowsill. Definitely, I love that. That was everything that I personally ordered with the voucher, which was so kind of them to give me that voucher anyway, but I've just checked in the bottom of the box and they've actually sent over some more home decor pieces, which I'm honestly flattered about. Like, I'm, I can't believe it's so nice of them. And it's really, really gorgeous as well. So one of them is this like oil bottle. You can have it with or without the cork, I think. Yeah, it kind of reminds me like of something that you'd put near your cooker, like your oven, not oven, like your hob, like near your like jug of utensils and stuff or like your salt and pepper and, or things like that. And you can just like pour in when you're cooking, not like I ever do the cooking, but Jake can use this new bottle now. And yeah, I just think it's like a really cute kitchen accessory. You can have it for show, like just for show purposes, like no one could use it, which probably will be the case in my house. Or you could pop like actual stuff inside and use it with your cooking and stuff. And it looks really pretty from the outside as well. So I'll definitely be popping this next to our like utensil salt and pepper area. As I think it looks really cute and it'll really work in our kitchen with all the colours and everything. And then the last thing that she sent over were these two gorgeous stone candle holders. How beautiful are they? They're so heavy, such good quality and the colour is perfect. It's like, let me pop one down so I can show you the colour. It's like almost like a stone, like a whitewashed stone kind of shade. And these are going to look perfect like on in a kitchen or like on a windowsill these are perfect anywhere i see these styled so beautifully on so many home accounts and i always wish that i had them but i just never never had them and now i do and i need to find some really beautiful candles i might treat myself to two new neptune candles so yeah how amazing were all those pieces from holy barn interiors like i said before love the love the small business it's so gorgeous and i do have a discount code for these guys as well it's florally 10 to save you 10 percent off anything from their website too next i'm going to show you what is inside this gorgeous box look i just love packaging that's pretty like look at these flowers on here i don't know how they've done it but it's so pretty and it's from a small business called kindred fires and i'm really excited to see what's inside i know that the packaging just gets like you know thrown in the recycling but i just oops i just feel like it just makes the whole buying experience better when the packaging is nice just the added detail i don't know but it makes me feel better anyway guys this packaging is gorgeous it's come with a little like personalized card let me show you little personalized card printed in gold with the logo on the back this would make such a beautiful gift for someone and it comes with like this gift bag as well let me open the gift bag up look at this <gasps> how pretty i can literally smell it already i know it's like candles it smells insane. I can smell it already. Let me pop this box down. Look how pretty that is. I would love to receive a little gift like that. Well, I have received a little gift like that, but you know, like it would be so nice to receive that. Like if you got that for anybody, it would be so lovely for them. <gasps> and by the way, this company's Instagram is like so aesthetically pleasing. You need to go and check it out. So this is a scented wax candle, but I know what's going to be on the, on the front of it. <gasps> That is so cute. Look at that. So this is a personalized candle, which is why this company is so great for gifts. Like it says, 
C and J, Chessy and Jake, and it says Chess and Jake engaged 4th of September 2022, which is obviously our engagement date. Smells incredible. It says it burns for 45 hours, which is amazing. And it says it's hand in Manchester. So a nice local business, love that. And I just think that is just so cute. What a gorgeous gift for somebody, especially if they're a neutral lover. Like I would, I would be scared to light this candle. You know those candles that you're scared to light because you don't want to, you don't want it to run out because it's so pretty. And this is so meaningful as well. If you're wanting like an engagement gift for someone or you like, I think they do all sorts of gifts. Like I'm sure they'll do like birthdays and all sorts. This would be such a gorgeous gift. I love it. They've also been very kind and sent some other goodies as well. Oh, are these matchsticks? Look how cute those matchsticks are. I love like cute little matchsticks, how sweet. And then these look super cute and like obviously really aesthetically pleasing if you want to have them in a bathroom as well. Some bath salts, lavender thyme and lang lang essential oil blend. Let's have a smell. Oh, they smell so good. They really remind me of like spa vibes, you know, when you just have it, you want to have like a nice relaxing bath. They will be perfect for that. And then there's another candle in here, they've spoilt me. Such a gorgeous small business. So this is so sweet. This is like one of their just signature candles. So I'm guessing they do like the personalized ones and then like just like the signature ones. And this is called Tranquility. And again, smells insane. I think it smells a bit different to that one. I think I've got two different scents there. This one smells like very florally, which I like, like floral, kind of perfumey. And this one smells like more vanilla-y and coconutty. Look how I just add E on the end of everything to describe things. Oh, so amazing. I cannot wait to light these. I feel like the scent photo is going to be amazing. So how gorgeous were those pieces from Kindred Fires? I feel so lucky to be able to open those and like have them now forever. Like that candle. I'm never chucking that candle with the Chessie and Jake on. And that's what I love. Like, I feel like people really love personalised gifts. So that would be such a gorgeous gift for somebody. I'll leave everything linked, like their Instagram and everything down below. But yeah, I love things that are personalisable, but also cute. At the same time, like sometimes you can get like a personalised, I don't know, something and it looks a bit like tacky or like cheap looking, do you know what I mean? But I like it when things look luxury but they're also personalised, it's just a really cute touch. That's everything that I've got to show you in today's small business haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the gorgeous items, I honestly love everything. And now I'm going to have a really good faffing session, I'm going to do some styling. I might show a little bit on camera as well, I'm going to pop some things in different places and show you how I would style some of the pieces up, so let's go and do that. I've still got like my little Valentine's Day vibe going on here. I might change that at the weekend but I just think it looks super cute I might just take the hearts off and just leave it as it is it's very like it's, I feel like it's very seasonal like it's not spring yet but this like speaks to me that spring is coming anyway I'm going to swap out white company pop that somewhere else and I'm going to pop this one here oh my goodness how well does it match with the Neptune bird as well the, the little like the etching on the front matches that so nicely and it's so cute and personalizable i love it so let me just move that to there and let's see oh my goodness that is the perfect width for those handles look how cute that is oh, i love that oh my god excuse all the mess in the hallway that is so cute it's gonna have like a little brush looking out of it would that be cute? That's quite a cute little rustic country cottage vibe. Oh, I love that. Really, really cute. So there's not much styling to do here other than just popping that down there. I feel like, does it clash with this? Or does it look okay? I, can, I guess it's just like a little tea bag cord. It's not that deep, is it? But yeah, that's where I will leave that. <laughs> also, how cute are these daffodils that Jake got me in the Sainsbury shop? First daffodils of 2022. I've just got them in this rustic jug from With Love Abigail. I love this jug so much. The colour is perfect. It's like a creamy brownie colour. So this is one of the rustic parts from Homely Barn Interiors and I've just got this fake plant. This is from Ikea. This one's also from Ikea. I really like this one. This is in a Neptune pot and I just think it looks so Neptune like. Obviously it is a Neptune pot but even though this is from Ikea, I feel like it's really cute vibes. And this one is also from Ikea and obviously on its own in the black pot, not really a vibe. But if you pop it in a nice rustic pot then it looks much better. Those two look really cute style together actually. But yeah, you get the idea. You can just get like a really cheap faux plant or like a real herb like I was saying before. Just pop it in and you've got some really cute styling going on. Might even pop it over this side just for a little bit of like greenery. 
over here maybe like that oh yeah I like how that looks maybe move that just adds a little bit of greenery to that section because it is very neutral in this section I am aware of that but yeah I really like how that looks actually and then in terms of like styling like a little oil bottle like this I used to have the apple in there looking all cute but you could like take the apple out pop this in like just have a little faff around and that looks really cute just like loads of cute rustic kitchen accessories is what I love pop the cork in the top and yeah see I'm not sure whether they all look too similar height maybe I like it better without the cork so I like a, like a little bit of like high height low height that sort of thing but yeah, you get the idea, it looks really cute. And just before I finish the video, I did just want to show you these beautiful flowers that Jake got me for Valentine's Day. He obviously knows me well. Look at that rose, look how big it is and look how perfect it is. So he got me like a really neutral bouquet. So stunning, white roses, eucalyptus, foliage, love it, it's all my favorite things. He knows me well, he did good. So yeah, really, really pretty. I thought I'd just show that at the end of the video as well. But that is the end of the video, everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the gorgeous bits from the small businesses. These are one of my favorite types of videos to film because I just love showcasing to you guys what the beautiful small businesses sell and what they stock and like all the different things you can get from there because it really is so important to support small businesses because you know when they're trying to compete with like high street shops when they're like super cheap like B&M and everything it's just super hard for them so where you can definitely support small businesses and not gonna lie just make it easy to support them when they do stock such beautiful items but yeah I will leave all those small businesses linked down below for you to check out so yeah thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you next week with a new video and right now I feel like I just want to settle down have a cup of tea watch say yes to the dress because I'm just like I'm wedding dress obsessed at the minute like obviously I've always been wedding dress obsessed like I've, I've had a Pinterest board for about 10 years of my dream wedding dresses and I always used to love watching say yes to the dress but now that I start now that I've tried the dresses on for the first time yesterday I just feel like so excited and like in my notes I've got like 15 potential options all from the same designer like I'm set on this designer now it's absolutely stunning these dresses from this designer and I've got 15 of them in my notes that could potentially be the one I just need to go and try them on all these like all the places that stock this designer so yeah I'm just I'm so excited I'm on a wedding dress hype and I just honestly stunning I can't wait I can't wait I just need to find the one and I'm sure I will with this designer <laughs> but yeah sorry I'm going off on a wedding tangent yet again but yeah I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea have a cozy down watch say yes to the dress and i will see you guys next sunday with a new video bye